iJoy have a new device coming out. It's called the Avenger 270. It's a dual 2700 battery mod and it has voice control. They're marketing this as the first device to have AI and it's obviously got those voice control functions. So let's take a look and see what's going on. So here's the tagline for this one. Hello, iJoy. It's the Avenger 270 from iJoy and in the silver there with the voice control functionality on it. So there are eight color options available for this. Uh, each one has a matching tank to go with it. So we've got the matte black, the matte champagne gold, the mirror blue, the mirror silver, there's a mirror green, a mirror purple, and two versions of mirror rainbow. So there's a rainbow one and a rainbow two. And as you see, they've all got matching uh, tanks to go with it. So nice matchy matchy going on there. So here's the specifications, 89.8 millimeters in height, 50 millimeters in width, uh, will run a maximum wattage of 234 watts, uh, no overhang from a 30 mil tank if you want to go that big, uh, it's also c capable of taking dual 2700 batteries and there'll be an adapter for your 18650s, all your usual functionality with wattage and temperature control modes. So here we go, these are the voice control options. Now this is the big selling point of this device. Uh, it's got all these preset uh, voice controls within it. So the lights of Hello or iJoy, uh, Auto Power, Auto Watt, Turn On Light, Dance Lights. So it's got all these different uh, preset controls for the voice command. Uh, there's does no option to add additional in there. And there's also no option to say vape now or anything like that. You've got your dual battery indicator here and it's kind of designed to look like a race car or a sports car where you've got the wheels as the battery indicator so it's quite an unusual design for that. Uh, it does look very bright, the rest of it does look quite funky, it is an unusual display that they've got going on here. So, and there we go, it's a center located 510 pin so no overhang if you're using a 30 millimeter tank. Uh, you've got adjustable RGB LED lights there, and uh, you can do color flashing lights, color displays, and some of the voice control options that are said are things like dance lights, so it will do a light display on the device there. So it's a dual 2700 battery, uh, it probably comes with these as well as most iJoy 2700 devices do. Do. and it also comes with the adapter so you can use your 18650s in there if you would prefer so here we go with the rainbow version and uh, it says personalized design with unique experience and you'll notice in the background of this image there is Iron Man from the films so they are definitely trying to strengthen that link with the Avengers films uh, much as the design of the Avengers logo on these devices is so there are seven different colors to choose from with the tank. You've got your black, you've got your rainbow, you've got stainless steel, uh, you've got champagne, you've got a resin. Uh, there's also blue and white, so they can match in with any of the devices there. You'll notice that the drip tip shows the iJoy logo, and along the airflow, it's actually got Aven the Avenger logo, looking very reminiscent of the films. Uh, so it's a height of 51 millimeters, 25 millimeter diameter. Capacity of 4.7 mils, that's when it's using the bubble tank. If you use the straight tank, it's 3.2 millimeters. And there are various different types of coils available for it. So there we go, there are the two types of glass included here. So you've got your bubble tank, which gives you the 4.7 mil, and the straight that gives you the 3.2 mil. Now you'll notice there's not a 2 mil variant on here, so whether there will be a 2 mil available for the TPD market in Europe, it doesn't say here on the site, uh, but I have seen it available for sale in Europe, so there should be a TPD version. So here's the exploded view of the tank. So at the left you've got your drip tip, then you've got your top cap, you've got your cap, your glass tank, your coil head, and your base with the airflow. And you can see all the nice sort of logos and design on there. It does look quite a nice little tank here. There are several different coil types available for this tank. Uh, you've got your standard ones with your, with your coil and your cotton, but there's also some variants in here as well. You've got uh, cotton and wood pulp composite wicking materials, so there's some of those. There's also mesh coils available for this. In addition, you've got your RBA, so you can do your rebuildable. 
and it does come with a pre-made mesh coil uh, so that's the one that actually comes with it and you can see on the right there the mesh how it's sort of laid out for this uh, so that's quite an interesting addition to have in there so it's top fill as you'd expect and it looks like the cap comes off completely but those are some nice big fill holes that they've got on there nice kidney shaped fill holes so that's going to be a nice easy fill tank so what do we think on that one? Well, there's quite a lot going on there. There's uh, obviously a nice design, lots of different colors going on. You've got your side fire button, which is always good. Those big buttons that you can just grip. It looks very, really ergonomical, so it'll fit nicely in the hand. And having that center 510 connector pin means that you can change up uh, the tanks on there with no overhang up to 30 millimeters. So that's really big for the going on there. Uh, it does mean it's gonna be quite a chunky device as well. Uh, which I quite like the chunky devices uh, in my hand when I've got the big ones, so that's fine by me. Uh, the flashing lights as an option, well we've had that before, that's nothing new. We've had flashing lights on a lot of devices, uh, so that's not really anything special. Uh, what is, is this whole voice control option. Now this is completely new, we've not seen this on anything else really. And it is very limited. Uh, it, there's not a huge amount going on with the voice control. There's not much you can really do with it. Uh, changing the power, changing, putting it in lock mode, talking to it, telling it to flash its lights. It is very, very gimmicky. And to be honest, why would you want voice control on a vape? Right? It doesn't work. It doesn't work for the main function that you've got for this. So it is really, really gimmicky. The only reason that you'd want something like that was to really show off and just go, look, my vape does this. And to be honest, I'm not really into that side of it. So if you are, go for it. It's, it's about as good as gimmicky as you can get, but it's not something that I'd really prefer myself. Uh, overall, the device does look good. That tank looks really good for a sub ohm tank. Uh, it's all your standard stuff on there. You've got your bottom airflow, you've got your wide board drip tip, and uh, those coils that are coming with it are really interesting. You've got the uh, mesh coil with the wood pulp in with the cotton, so that's going to be really interesting and really that should carry the flavor really, really well. So, as a sub ohm tank goes, it should be really good for get, producing that flavor and producing those clouds. So uh, the tank itself, I think, is actually better than the device, but overall, as a kit, uh, it does look pretty good. Now, there's the obvious tie-in to the Marvel films going on here. They're trying to link it together. You've got that image there that had Iron Man in the background, and then you've also got the actual logo for the device as well. That Avengers logo that just looks very reminiscent of the Avengers films. It's very stylized to look similar. So that's obviously a marketing gimmick going on there. And if you're an Avengers fan, why not go for it? It does look pretty cool. I've seen a pre-release date for this as the 16th of April. So it's still a couple of weeks away from coming out. Uh, price point on this, pre-sales prices, US prices showing at between 90 and $100. UK price around £80. So... Price point is pretty much the same as similarly equipped mods. Uh, the only real big selling point on this that's different from anything else is that voice control. Uh, however, Smock do have a voice control unit on the way out as well. I'm going to take a look into that and get a preview for that up as well. So overall, this device is not making me jump for joy. I'm not overly excited about it. Uh, I'm not going to rush out to go get one. Uh, it does seem a bit too gimmicky for my tastes. Although, if you're into that sort of thing, if you like the showy, then go for it. It's going to be a good device for you. So that's it for this preview. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Go follow me on Twitter, at one purple mongoose. I do uh, preview videos like this. I do reviews. I do vape questions, vape news, and I do a daily vlog. So go check out all the videos on the channel. Uh, in the UK, if you are in the UK, we have an event going on called Vapril. Uh, go check that out, www.vapril.org. Loads of good info on there, so go check that out. And as ever, vape on.